Our tour continues from Yangara heading east to Mackay, then continuing along the Bruce Highway to the tropical north, stopping at Cardwell. The roadside beach still bears the remnants of the severe cyclone Yasi which hit the area. The resilience of these remaining trees is amazing. After Cardwell, it was a short drive through the town of Babinda and west to another free campsite. Situated at the base of the Atherton Tableland, the picturesque boulders was a tranquil and interesting stopover. Rainfall in this area is measured in metres rather than millimetres. In the wet season, swimming in these tranquil pools is dangerous as unexpected walls of water flowing down from the tableland have resulted in many drownings. The smooth polished granite boulders are an indication of the powerful flow which occurs here. For nature lovers, the boulders area offers great opportunities for the patient observer. Wildlife like this cormorant can be spotted foraging for food. It's not long before he's rewarded with a fat yabby. Mountain streams and green vegetation is home to numerous insects, including the Ulysses butterfly, as well as the attractive turquoise dragonfly, which enjoys munching on the tender leaves. It was at the campsite where we experienced the closest encounter of the local wildlife. Opening the camper door, we were stunned when a cassowary poked his head in. Talk about sticky beaking, this bird took the cake. I grabbed the camera to video him. A nearby camper captured this inserted event on her iPhone. From the boulders, it's a steep scenic drive to the Atherton Tablelands. Along the plateau, there are a number of stops providing magnificent panoramic views. The Tableland is where the waterfall circuit begins, leading to a number of picturesque waterfalls. The town of Melanda is famous for its waterfall. It is the town centrepiece, providing a popular recreation area for residents and visitors. Although the picturesque Miller Miller Falls don't flow at their full potential in winter, they still provide a naturally beautiful display. The Mangali Falls are not that steep at the top, however in the wet season this section would be a spectacular sight.
Further down, there's a steep plunge into a pool before flowing into the rainforest. Another natural phenomenon in the Atherton rainforest is the giant curtain fig tree. A seed was deposited in the host tree's crown. It germinated and the first root descended to the soil. Enriched by the soil, the fig developed aerial roots which encircled and eventually strangled the host tree. The host tree then fell into a neighbouring tree, a stage unique to the development of a curtain fig tree. Vertical roots descended from the fig's trunk to form a curtain-like appearance. Eventually the host tree rotted away, leaving a freestanding fig tree. At the base of the curtain fig, there is a plaque depicting how this phenomenon occurred. Lake Berene is a freshwater lake filling an extinct volcano which erupted 17,000 years ago. It is the largest volcanic lake in the area, about one kilometer in diameter and a shoreline of almost 4.5 kilometers, with an average depth of 65 meters. Visitors may swim in the lake, however camping near the lake is prohibited. Facilities at the lake include a picnic ground, a kiosk and tea house, which was built in 1926. There are walking tracks around the lake and tour operators offer boat cruises on the lake. The boat cruise proved to be a convenient way to enjoy the lake's beauty in a relaxed manner. The baskets adhering to the branches of these bull cowrie trees are epiphyte. An epiphyte is a plant that normally grows on another plant for support. It is not a parasite, but uses the host plant for support only, rooting in pockets of humus, decaying leaves or other decaying matter. The bull cowrie tree dominates the rainforest, growing to about 50 metres in height with a 2.7 metre diameter unbuttressed trunk. No streams or springs feed the crystal clear lake. It is filled only with rainwater. During the wet season, water flows out of the lake into a small creek. The Lake Berene excursion proved to be a unique and satisfying experience and a befitting end to this chapter of Tropical Queensland. Thank you.